Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you a working vampire build for PvE for solo and group play. Yes, I did say vampire build and I remember using one of these a while back after they got nerfed and I was basically like, man, this really sucks. And I was like, I really want to try to find a way to make a vampire be viable in a PvE setting. Uh, and we also know that a lot of players enjoy playing as a vampire as role playing and vampires are just cool. So this build today is a solid build that can clear content and have fun while being a blood sucking vampire. I was super excited that we got it working on stream and was finally ready to share it with y'all. And the best part about this build is it does not even use the Ring of the Pale Order. And I just want to give a shout out to our patrons and members. Uh, thank you to Johnny, our newest patron. I really do appreciate it. I'll have more on that at the end of the video. We also are streaming once a week on YouTube here, so make sure to turn those notifications on so you know when I go live so you can learn about ESO. But like all my builds, I'll give you advice on how to level up your build from level 3 to level 50. That way you can have the skills that you need when you get to the end game. I will also give you some insight on other sets that you can use as well. This build can be used, like I said, as a solo or a group build, okay? We are using a Sork as our class though. Uh, the reason we're using Sork is because it has one of the most broken skills in the game and it's very helpful for us with being a vampire. And the Sork also provides some other skills as well that we'll get into in the skills section. But let's go to the stats, Mundus, the food, and the race, okay? For our stats, we are 64 points into Magicka. The Mundus we are using is the Thief and the food that you can use is either Longfin Pace with Melon Sauce or the Corrupting Bloody Mara. I'm using the Longfin now because I use the Corrupting to get to level four uh, vampire stage, which is we are a level four vampire, by the way. Uh, and so I used it for that, but then I just switched over to Longfin Pasty. And for the race, we are actually using a Breton. Okay, Breton has a lot of really good passives that we need for this. We have increased Magicka recovery, we have max Magicka increases, and we have the Magicka cost reduction of our abilities, which is really, really nice. And so it kind of offsets a little bit our regular ability costs that Vampire uh, Stage 4 makes us have. Uh, so it's something that's really nice and it's it's just a good thing to have. I think Breton's a solid choice for the race for this build. Now let's go into the skills, okay? And the skills, a lot of a lot of this can really be uh, tweaked to your uh, liking. Uh, I've tried different setups and so I can kind of give some alternate setups, right? But here's what we got. Unstable Wall of uh, Storms on the front bar here. Um, this is going to be a damage over time. It's just a nice thing that we have. It's in the destruction staff line uh we have a vampire skill here simmering frenzy what this does is this is a toggle and it costs 500 health per uh two seconds so as much as it's toggled on it increases our weapon and spell damage up to five times by 80 that can be 400 weapon or spell damage while toggled on our health cost of this ability increases by 360 per stack and you cannot be healed by anyone other than yourself okay so if you want to play this build solo, you will be using this. If you want to play in a group though, and this is toggled on, you can't be healed by anyone else. So you need to switch this out with something else. And I can talk about that here in a second. But, but the point of this build was to mainly be a solo build. So this is just going to increase our weapon spell damage and we're just literally going to take like no damage. You'll see that we don't even have the ring of the pelt we're on and this, we never really have to worry about this, like getting us close to death essentially. So, so I really like this ability. Twilight Matriarch is our skill here. This will be double barred. This is from the Sork line. It's a pet. And this is going to do, the, the main thing is heal us, right? This is something that's going to be a really nice burst heal if you get in trouble and you really need healing uh, on solo play or even in group play. Next skill is Crit Surge. Crit Surge is our MVP of the build again it's going to give us major brutality and sorcery increasing our weapon and spell damage and it also gives us healing every time we deal critical damage okay so keep that in mind boundless storms again uh like an aoe essentially uh and it's also going to give us major resolve which is going to help us for solo play and give us major expedition on the ultimate here we have swarming scion swarming scion is a vampire ultimate um and it's going to increase our max health magic and stamina by 10,000, and we heal for 15 percent of all the damage you deal and you also have bats swarm around you that deal magic damage every one second which is really cool this is kind of like if you're in trouble pop this and this is just something that will basically make you unkillable okay and so if you're playing in a group and you need to take simmering frenzy off you can switch it with the barb trap here because this will help us get uh, minor force which will increase your critical damage so it's gonna give you a nice little buff it'll kind of help with uh the weapon spell damage that you don't get from this you can also switch this with another vampire skill if you want uh one of them is hypnosis this is a stun it's not bad for group play uh but it's just 
just something to keep in mind, but you will need to switch this out if you're in a group, unless you just don't want your, you know, healer to heal you and you can do fine with this build, then you could keep it, but you just need to let your healer know or your group know that you're using this. But I would switch it out though, just so you can be healed just in case. If you want more damage, you can put like, you don't you don't have to have the Twilight Matriarch, you can get the damage one. You can also get the Volatile Familiar one and find a spot for it here too. Like I said, it's very customizable how you do this bar because it's something that you can really play around with to whatever your liking is. Uh, you can make it as RP as you want, but not all the vampire skills in my opinion are really that good. But yeah, I mean, that's just something that you can keep in mind with this. Uh, but on the front bar, we have Crystal Fragments. This is such a good skill. Uh, in the Sork line, um, it's going to do magic damage. But the really, the big part about this is anytime you cast a health, magic, or stamina ability, you have a 33% chance of causing your next crystal frag to be an instant cast skill, which deals 66% more damage and costs 50% less magicka. So this is, you want to use it when that is the case, not when you have to uh, channel it. Um, again, we have Twilight Matriarch here uh, for our double bar because we need it on both bars. We have Inner Light from the Mages Guild, which can give, gives us major savagery and prophecy increases our weapon and spell critical by 2629, and our max magicka gets an increase by 5 percent and then our spammable one of our spammables is Ardeal burst from the vampire line this is the magicka variant of it i chose the magicka variant just because it costs not a lot of magicka because we have the reduction of magicka and really helps us have a really uh, low costing spammable plus it does a nice bit of damage it deals up to 33 percent more damage based on your missing health and if you use this ability while you are under 50 percent health it will always be a critical strike which will then heal you automatically because of crit surge that is really really cool Cool, uh, and I like that synergy with this. Then this is the skill that's really cool. This is our like AOE spamble and can be used on a boss, obviously too. But this one is awesome. This is Storm Pulsar. This is from the Destruction Staff line. It's the last skill you get. But what this does is it deals five two five seven shock, shock damage to nearby enemies and afflicting them with minor mangle, reducing their max health by ten percent for ten seconds. This damage is increased by five percent for each enemy hit up to six times. So that's really cool. I love this ability. It's an AOE spamble. This can be your single target spammable and same with uh, crystal frags as well and we have greater storm atronach here on the bar uh this is mainly for some passives now let's go into the passives right so you want all the dark magic passives uh these are really nice unholy knowledge is uh, reduces your cost of your abilities which is really nice this heals you blood magic and then exploitation also gives you minor prophecy when you cast an ability which is even better because you can stack minor and major prophecy right and then when we go to daedric summoning you can get every single passive here and then storm calling same thing every single passive so it's really nice we can use all the passives sometimes on sorks i don't even use all the passives so that's really cool destruction staff you can get all the passives here for armor you can get all the light armor passives there you can also get the medium armor passives because we are using a little bit of medium armor so if you'd like to get the medium armor passives keep that in mind uh vampire you can get all the vampire passives for the fighters guild if you uh put barb trap on there you can get slayer and then you can get banished the wicked undaunted you can get all your undaunted passives uh for mages guild you can get magic controller and obviously for your racial passives you get all the breton passives now to level up your skills the best way to do this is again when you're level three uh, for the progression just put a skill on each of your lines here and you will get these uh, leveled up pretty evenly so do that all the way to you know whenever you get everything leveled up so crit surge summon twilight matriarch and then obviously um yeah you, all you need is crystal fragments technically but you do want to get these passives so make sure to level those up evenly and again make sure to put on your light armor to level up light armor and then get three pieces of medium armor as well so you can level up your medium armor line uh the other thing to keep in mind okay is for being a vampire you do not need to buy this in the store someone can bite you a player can bite you sometimes they just have you pay gold sometimes people will do it for free so don't buy this in the store okay this is something you can get do that and then just start leveling up your vampire line and uh you want to get to those skills like i said just really the first two and then the ultimate and then some of the passives right for your destruction staff line again just put wall of elements you can even put crushing shock on there as well you'll get to pulsar eventually but okay let's go into the armor now okay because this is the uh pretty important part right here again we are not using ring the pale order we are also not using a monster set we are using a five piece set of zogavan okay this is medium armor we're using shoulder and helmet and then we're doing the jewelry as well zogavan is in frost vault dungeon you can do it on normal it's a very good set so it adds a bunch of crit chance penetration and then when you deal critical damage you gain a stack of precision increasing your critical chance at 177 for five seconds up to 10 stacks max and max stacks you also gain minor force increasing your critical damage done by 10 percent this effect can occur once every half second so if you do not have this armor set yet 
it'll be fine in a group to run Barb Trap because Barb Trap is going to give you minor force. But once you get Zogavins, you do need to keep in mind that this is going to give you the same buff. So you need to pick one or the other, right? If you're going to run Barb Trap in the group, you don't have to run Zogavins, okay? You can run something else. Uh, but if you run Zogavins, you can just switch Barb Trap out either with the uh, Inner Light again, just to have this buff on this bar. You could put, like I said, the Hypnosis uh, Stun skill, uh, Dark Conversion to give you more resources back um, there's a lot of options you can put here if you're in a group and you don't want to run shimming frenzy but like i said if you're in a group you can keep this here if you want you just have to tell your group if you're doing a random group or you just have to be confident enough that you will be okay and you should be okay because this is viable in solo i've only played it in solo but i'm just saying that if you're doing group content and the healer's like why is this guy not being healed just keep that in mind okay for the other set we're using false gods okay false gods is in the trial for sun uh sunspire very easy to do on normal uh, we have groups that run it every week for the most part this is very easy to obtain but this is amazing for us when it comes to sustain and solo like solo ability this gives us crit chance minor slayer and then it also just reduces our magic abilities even more so it is we essentially offset the vampire uh, negative effects with this and being a breton okay this is just a great thing to have though as a solo player and then for our weapons okay we're using two unique weapons here on the front bar we're actually using black rose lightning staff okay black rose lightning staff is from black rose prison this is the arena you can do it on normal with a group of four people it's pretty simple to do it on normal but this reduces the cost of impulse by 10 percent our spammable the pulsar that we're using that reduces it by 10 percent impulse places a lingering elemental damage on your targets as well dealing 1720 flame shock and frost damage over eight seconds each element ticks over the duration and uh the damage scales off your higher weapon spell damage so it's something that pairs really nicely with our pulsar ability here um the other one that i'm using is the maelstrom one okay again you can do this on normal um this will increase our light and heavy attacks to enemies uh in our wall of elements you can switch this out if you want to use like the uh very simple staffs like i think it's willpower again these are just staffs to go for now when it comes to progression with the these stabs okay and and with this armor i told you i'm giving you like a progression for it you can start out at level three level 20 you can use like julianos you can use like uh, magnus's gift you can use crafted magic sets uh and then as you progress when you get to level 50 again you can use a set of julianos uh, and you could use Magnus's gift. You could start using uh, like Mother Sorrow if you'd like, if you have a little bit of that. It's really up to you how you wanna do that. Just make sure you're getting some spell critical, make sure you're getting some cost reduction as a vampire, and those sets can kind of be what you want them to be. But when you hit CP 160, okay, in my opinion, the easiest thing to do is go get Zogavin. Zogavins uh, is a, a DLC dungeon that's normal. You can do it on normal, you can farm it, it's not hard. Just find a group to do that with or queue for it in the finder. Get your jewelry, get your, uh, your helmet and your shoulder piece here and uh that should be the first one that you can get and then your body pieces can be like julianos uh while you have this then go with that into the sunspire trial get your sunspire body pieces here and once you have that you've basically got your full setup and then you can go for black rose prison and the maelstrom staff okay that would be the progression i would do when it comes to alternate sets if you want to use something other than zogavins you could use like leviathan if you want it gives a lot of crit chance you could use Use mother sorrow there's a lot of options in this alternate set but i like that this gives minor force we don't have to run barb trap uh, so just keep that in mind when you're doing the progression with that now let's go into the champion points into the blue the warfare so we're running 50 into finding finesse which increases our critical damage and critical healing done and then we're using reaving blows to help us heal with direct damage because we don't have ring of the pale order we're also putting points into these passives here um and we just put points into everything that we can but then up here 15 to deadly aim increase your damage done with single target attacks by three percent increase your damage done with direct damage attacks by three percent okay we have those slotted as well you could try out using like thaumaturge because we do have some damage over times but i just slotted into these uh right now for the red 15 to survival instincts 15 rejuvenation 15 to siphoning spells and 50 into sustain by suffering this is going to help with our recoveries we we will really need that and give us more magicka back okay so now for the rotation this the rotation is pretty simple you just have to be able to think on your toes and be able to react okay so first thing we'll have is make sure your pet is active uh and then you're gonna pop crit surge you're gonna pop your frenzy you're gonna pop your storms and you're gonna pop your wall of elements and then you're gonna switch bars you'll see here that our frenzy's at level five already you see that we're taking health 
but as we do damage from our matriarch we just heal i mean it's it's insane right so again we're gonna crit surge storms wall make sure your frenzy's up and your uh matriarch whenever you're low on health you can heal if you'd like from your matriarch but on the front bar here what you're gonna do is you're gonna spam the blood skill here that we have as a vampire right and you'll see that when we are able to, we will proc Crystal Frag and we will use it. We'll crit for 40 something K, right? So this is our single target spammable. When it's up, hit Crystal Frag. That's the only time you hit Crystal Frag. When it procs the instant cast, right? Look, there it is again, hit Crystal Frag. That's all you're doing, right? So that's what you do on the front bar. And then you just reapply on the back bar, okay? So make sure you reapply everything. Your frenzy's still up. You're still fine. We're gonna do that. We're gonna uh, pop crystal frag. And then, like I said, in AOE settings, you're gonna use this skill. This is our impulse skill and it is sick. It just looks so awesome, right? That is the rotation, y'all. It's it's that simple. It's something that I, I was, I've been running this in some uh, vet dungeons. I went to City of Ash, which has a lot of fire, which is not good for vampires, but I thought it'd be a good test for this, and we did fine. And so I'm very surprised that this actually like works because like vampire just to me has never felt satisfying, and this actually feels pretty satisfying. But if you wanna check out any of my other builds, I have them here in the channel. Uh, and also, like I said, if you wanna join Patreon, thank you again for the members on YouTube and Patreon. You you can join in the description below you get early access to videos and much more again we do stream on youtube once a week now so make sure to hit those notifications so you know when i go live you can check this build out on the website as well the written uh, form will be out there on broadwaygotthis.com and you can check out these videos up in the screen make sure to do that because it'll teach you about other builds and other things in eso but thank you again y'all just remember to have faith be great and i'll see you on eso